What's going on, guys? Got a unexpected one here for y'all today. That's right, you can see it. Galaxy A71 5G. You can pick this up right now at AT&T. Um, and I think T-Mobile and Sprint also have it uh, for $5.99. Uh, there's a Verizon variant that has their uh, ultra wideband, the uh, millimeter wave uh, capabilities, for fifty dollars more. It's six forty nine. It's not available unlocked yet, but it will be soon on Samsung's website, and I I imagine also on Amazon. I'm sure, uh, and it's gonna go for the same six hundred dollars that I paid for this. So it probably unlocked won't feature Verizon's ultra wideband. So you'd have to get get it specifically from them if you if you want their uh millimeter wave 5g um of course i'm sure the unlocked one will work on them through you know via lte but you won't get you know their millimeter wave 5g but this isn't about verizon uh not a huge fan of theirs um this is again the galaxy a51 5g it's been out for it, it, it went for sale Went up for sale about two weeks ago. Uh, the stores in my area got them a week ago. And each store had a couple of them in stock. And every other day I did a um, did a search. I, I just wasn't sure if I wanted this device or not. And um, every, do, you know, every, day, every other day I noticed the numbers dwindle and dwindle that were available in my area. And then finally, yesterday, uh, the closest store to me actually... Uh, a, you know, the closest AT&T store out of the three or four had one left and the other ones had none. So I was like, you know what? This is a sign. I need to go get it. So I did. Here we go. I got it. Last one in Shreveport. Um, and, uh, you know, this, this phone's hot. This phone's hot. It really is. Um, I, I don't see, I haven't seen a lot of videos on this phone, which is what made me get it. I don't see a lot. And it surprised me because it's a Samsung phone. It's a mainstream phone, and it's a 5G phone, and um, the phone's hot, man. It's hot. A rundown of the specs, it has 6 gigs of RAM, the Snapdragon uh, Snapdragon 765G uh, gaming processor with, you know, 5G, obviously, for, uh, for a, a low-band sub-6. Uh, I'm pretty sure the AT&T model, once unlocked, will also work on T-Mobile's uh, 5G, and um, I may or may not try that. I use at t anyway, so it's not a big deal for me to get this unlocked. But, uh, you know, for the right price, I will get it unlocked. But, because um, it's not always easy to have at t do it for free like you think it is. You know, if I can get it done on a, you know, from a seller on eBay for 10 bucks, I'll do that. But, you know, um, it's your typical at t box. It's nothing special as far as... I guess what I'm trying to say is the unlocked variant of this phone, once it comes out and you actually get it from Samsung.com or Amazon or whoever sells the unlocked variant, Best Buy, etc., it'll probably have a much more interesting box. AT&T boxes are all the same. I mean, heck, even T-Mobile's boxes are a little bit more interesting. But it um, there's really not much to see here. You got more AT&T literature than anything else. You have your super fast charge, your uh, your USB Type C, and your SIM ejector tool right there to the box Galaxy A seventy one five G, and um, you know don't don't text and drive of course it can wait, and uh, here we go this phone's hot man I mean I, I I'm not a, I'm not the biggest Samsung device uh, I'm not the biggest Samsung fan, and it's not because I don't like their phones it's just because I don't like their prices they uh, they're they're just too proud of them that's all that's all um granted they do hold value. From what I've read recently, they hold better value than Apple devices do now, and that's uh that, that that's news to me. I always thought they were second, but a lot of a lot of publications, or well, one in particular that I read a couple weeks ago, said that Samsung is number one now, and um, and uh, um, as far as holding value and 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 you know their their resale value, um, so that's it's good to know. That's good to know actually. Uh, this phone has a six point seven inch. 20 by 9 aspect ratio, full HD+, plus, uh, super AMOLED screen, uh, built-in fingerprint sensor, or in-screen fingerprint sensor, I should say, 
and uh, always on display, and uh, it's a uh, it's gorgeous. The finger the 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 in display fingerprint sensor works amazingly fast. I'm not sure if it's an optic fingerprint sensor or the supersonic uh, fingerprint sensor. Sorry for the um and the stuttering there. I'm just trying to trying to keep up with myself here, trying to make sure I'm telling you all the right specs. I have to go back and actually go into the descriptions for a couple of my recent videos and change a couple of mistakes that I made in the video. Uh, but this phone, I really like the screen. I love the screen. It's flat. Because there's supposed to actually be a Galaxy Note 20 with a completely flat screen. You notice on the Galaxy S20s, they toned down the curve a lot. But they didn't actually have a flat model. They still have the edge a little bit. There's actually supposed to be a flat Note 20 for those like me that prefer the flat screens. This is completely flat. And I, I and, and, and I'm going to tell you why I absolutely love this design. I didn't know that this phone was like this until I took it out of the box. Pictures really don't do it any justice. Samsung really... Uh, Samsung... Samsung always, always... Um, what am I trying to say here, y'all? <laughs> I keep getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I had a text message at the same time recording this, and I was reading it there. I apologize about that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I just completely, just my mind went completely blank. The, the, the pictures to this phone don't do it any justice whatsoever. This phone is, it has a really nice squared off design. And I absolutely love it. I don't know if the pic, I don't know if the phone or if this camera's catching that. But it's because the S20 wasn't squared off. It was rounded. And this has a really squared off design, and I love that. You see, it does have a quad camera setup. Not entirely sure about the uh, uh the specs of them. As y'all know, cameras are my weakness. But I have read good things about this setup here. You do have that flash there, and then four other lenses there, kind of in an L shape there, obviously. Uh, kind of the trend right now in design. Uh, you got the Samsung logo down there. It's kind of a two tone too because you got this like this solid matte finish down here, and then you have this glossy uh, granite design up here. It's kind of like half and half. You can kind of see where it separates itself, but the the texture doesn't feel any differently. It just looks different. It's definitely a fingerprint magnet. Uh, you do have your you do have your volume rocker and your power button there. USB Type C, your headphone jack, again headphone jack, speaker, and uh, let's see, yeah, there's your sim, your uh, your uh, sim tray. It does have a uh, micro SD expansion, and that right there, the micro SD expansion is what's gonna really make me like this more than the OnePlus Nord. Even though I am a bigger OnePlus fan overall than Samsung, it's purely because of the price to spec ratio that OnePlus normally offers that they haven't really been offering as much lately. But Samsung has always kept the micro SD. That to me is more important than the headphone jack. And um, you know the OnePlus Nord is not going to have that. But then again, with the same specs, the Nord is also going to cost a couple hundred less than this supposedly. This is six hundred bucks. Now, of course, to keep that in contrast, keep in mind that before your Galaxy S seven and your iPhone seven. Because those are really the two phones that notably raised the prices or started to raise the price of flagships. And they went up again a year after that and then a year after that. But before that, before the iPhone 7 and the and the Galaxy S7, yes, I can remember this because I, I spent this many times. The price for a flagship, for a base flagship, the you know, the base, when I mean, when I say base, I mean like the lowest available memory capacity, you know, capacity, you know, the, the internal memory capacity was always $650. I know that because I spent that for many, many years, many, many times, for about 10 years, that those prices stayed the same around there. Um, and this phone is 600 so, I mean, you know, and, and it is, you know, it does have a lot of flagship qualities to it. So, um, you know, the Snapdragon 765G is no slouch. Again, it does have 5G. Uh, it's 5G is going to get better, better life than 5G from a Snapdragon 865 or even the 855 Plus or 855 with 5G because on here it's built in. So that's that's actually an advantage. Even though you can't get the 865 without 5G, 
it's not built into the die like it is on the 765. So that's, you know, just food for thought there. But the phone is a joy to hold. It looks slippery, but it's really not that slippery, honestly. It was fantastic in the hands. And no, I'm not going to say it this time for the ladies. But um, the, the viewing angles on this phone... Y'all, excuse the fingernails again. I'm sorry. The, the uh, viewing angles on this phone are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It really is. Of course, that, that, but that doesn't come to, a surprise, to any surprise. Samsung makes the best screens. And, you know, that, that's, that's... I mean... I've kind of gotten accustomed to that. I think everyone has. You know, you may not like Samsung, but you can't deny their 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 how beautiful their screens are. But nonetheless, um, I'm uh, really impressed with this device's performance. Uh, I do get 5G on AT and T. The uh, the sub six, of course, the the uh, low band, uh, band. What is it? Band. It's a uh, 5G band. Band 5NR. There you go. 5NR. Or N5. Band N5 for 5G NR. There. It's confusing there. <laughs> but but nonetheless, I really wanted to bring this device to y'all. I have not seen a lot of videos on it. It's been out for a couple of weeks. I just figured with all the Samsung fanatics out there that this this phone would have just been a hot topic all over the place. It's 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 the most it's not the most affordable 5G phone worldwide but it's the most affordable 5g phone available in the u.s um well well officially the red magic 5g is actually you know it, it, it's for sale in the u.s with a better processor and it's 20 dollars cheaper and even though nubia's website doesn't have the proper bands listed even for the U.S. model that's officially sold in the U.S. with FCC certification, 5G does work. It does work. I don't know if it wasn't FCC certified to, to be able to, uh, you know, legally or officially list it, but it did work. I had on at and I I talked to other people on YouTube that said that it worked on T-Mobile's 5G as well. So, uh, you know, and that has a better chipset and it's $20 cheaper. So, you know, but uh, I, I think the screen on this looks better. The screen on this looks looks better than the Red Magic 5G, despite that also being Super AMOLED. It, it wasn't this nice. The overall design of this phone is, is is beautiful. It has your cut out there for the front felt for the front facing the the selfie camera, if you will. And uh, you know, of course, as I said, the box doesn't really you know leave you much there to be impressed with. But uh, you know, just the phone itself. And uh, yeah, I, I really 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 like the phone. I uh, I dig it. I definitely dig it. I love the design of the squared off design. You know, if you're looking for the, you know, the OnePlus Nord, which probably won't come out here in the U.S. And, you know, if you're like me, you prefer the micro SD expansion. This this is probably your best bet right here. This this phone is, is beautiful. It's blazing fast. Uh, I'm telling you, there's nothing that the Snapdragon A65 can do that this 765G processor can do. I, I'm telling you. By the time you notice a difference... Particularly gaming wise, which is really gonna be what it amounts to. It's gonna be two or three years from now. And 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 you know how many of these phones are still gonna be in circulation? How many two or three years from now, how many people are still gonna have Snapdragon 865 powered phones, Snapdragon 765 powered phones? I mean, let's be honest, you're not. <laughs> Most don't. But you know, well, I mean, I mean, there obviously be a few because these do hold good resale value. So, I mean, it, 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 they're phones that can definitely last two, three, four years, no doubt about that. But you see a lot more older iPhones than you see more older Android phones. But of course, that has to do with software updates, which Apple is no doubt the best at. But this phone is definitely competition for the iPhone SE two, uh, faster data. You're not going to notice that the A13 is considerably faster than the Snapdragon 765G. Um, you know, I, I would I would rather take this faster data speed over it any day. It's more future proofed. Uh, like 5G or not, you will eventually. You might not be on the bandwagon right now, but but you will. You will, I promise. And so then you're going to be looking back a couple years. You're going to be looking. You're going to look back and and just be like. Dang, man, how come I didn't jump on it sooner? You know, well, here it is. You want a future-proof for an affordable price? Here you go. Galaxy A51 5G. Uh, again, you know, 6.7-inch. 
Full HD Plus 20 by 9 Super AMOLED. Uh, it does have facial recognition. It has the in-screen fingerprint sensor. Uh, I think I before that did I say fingerprint recognition or facial recognition? Well, it has fing it has the facial recognition, no doubt. There. I'm sorry, y'all. I went to I was up early this morning for work. This is a Saturday. I don't normally work Saturday, so uh, my schedule's kind of screwed up here. I uh, I got this phone yesterday and couldn't wait to bring it to y'all. But anyways, you know, typical Samsung interface. It does have an Android 10 with the with the Samsung Experience UI 2.0. And, uh, you know, your typical AT&T bloatware, of course. My apps are installing on it now. But um, I do have an almost max brightness, just so you can see it on the camera there. See some of the toggles here. Um, but overall, fantastic phone. This phone does have DeX compatibility, too. For those of you that are wondering, this does have Samsung DeX compatibility to, 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 to be a, a desktop computer of sorts. So I thought that was really cool to learn that. It doesn't have wireless charging. Um, but it does have NFC if I haven't already said that. And of course, I think everyone kind of assumed that already. It does have Samsung Pay, obviously. But uh, anyways, you'll hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And until next time, peace.